Welcome food and fitness lovers to Tina's Ageless Kitchen. I'm Chef Tina Martini. You might know me as the medicine chef. The authentic recipes for all of our products are signature to La Morena. The chilies are literally hand-picked for each can. Everything is manufactured in Mexico and imported into the U.S. La Morena is best known for its quality and authentic flavor, giving our users a taste of home. Stock up on flavor with La Morena. Welcome food and fitness lovers to Tina's Ageless Kitchen. I'm Chef Tina Martini. You know me as the medicine chef. Well, today we're gonna talk about nuts and seeds and do some things with them that maybe you haven't done before. There's also some phyto facts going on with nuts and seeds that I think you're gonna be really excited about. So the first thing we're gonna do is a couple of smoothies and I have all my mise en place here. And remember, that's the first thing a good chef does is put everything in one place. And that includes our kitchen equipment as well. So I've got a blender and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make hemp cream. Now what is hemp? It is not marijuana. And that's the first question I get every time I bring up hemp. Now these little seeds right here, and I've got a big bowl for you to see right here. These are hemp hearts. Now they're the heart of the seed of the hemp plant. Now hemp is generally used for fibers. Things like making clothes, it makes the best rope. There's lots of different uses for hemp and it's really, really sustainable for the planet. So there's lots of good things going on with hemp. Not only to mention the omega-3 fatty acids. Now we know everything about the omega-3s now and finding out more every day that these are really powerful medicine. Not only helping with mood swings, hormone imbalances, but it also helps us lose weight. The good fat washes away the bad fat. So we're gonna make hemp cream right now. So I'm just gonna put a couple tablespoons in. You're gonna make as much as you want. I'm gonna make a little bit so we can see. And then I'm gonna do equal amounts of good water. So whatever kind of nut cream you're going to make, it's just the raw nuts, and then an equal part of water to that. Now, if you follow me on my Instagram account, you've already seen the cashew cream over the spiced apples, and it is just an amazing dessert or snack, and it's vegan, so again, anything that is decadent, like something creamy and smooth and velvety, like a nut cream, is gonna be really a great addition to our vegan plan, not only to mention the phytonutrients as well. So let's go ahead and put our lid on, and then we'll just blend this on high. And as you can see, it starts getting really creamy and it's a great base for the smoothie that we're gonna make right now. Let's just do that one more time. It kind of looks like cookies and cream, doesn't it? It looks like a cookies and cream milkshake. All right, so that's our hemp cream all done. And then let's go ahead and build whatever type of smoothie we want on the hemp cream. So I'm just gonna throw some whole peach in and I'm gonna do a peachy orange. Now peach and the oranges, orange in color, yes. And what that is is beta carotene. Now beta carotene is a nutrient that uh, squash has in it, anything yellow, orange, uh, kind of with that peachy blush that our peaches had, that tells you that it's really high in beta carotene. Beta carotene is what the body uses to make vitamin A, one of our most powerful weapons against cancer. So I just threw the whole peach peel and everything in, take the seed out of course. And what I've done here is made a hollow glass out of an orange. So that's what our smoothie's gonna go in. Now I've got some nice organic orange juice here. 
And we don't want too much. We want to make it kind of nice and creamy and thick. You could do a little touch of vanilla in there as well, and that's gonna make it really rich tasting without adding a bunch of sugar and that kind of thing. So let's whip that up. And again, any fruit that you like works here. We're just using the hemp cream as the base. Now hemp, I mentioned, is loaded with the omega-3 fatty acids, but hemp has something in it that nothing else that has omega-3s has. It's an omega-3 booster, and it actually makes the omega-3 fatty acids more usable, our body gains more benefit, and it actually boosts the healing power of the omega-3s, and you only find that in hemp. Let me just whip it up one more time and it's gonna be nice and creamy and frothy just the way we like it. A little more power. And it's just like a milkshake. Now, if you want it to be really creamy, you could freeze some orange segments, you could freeze the peaches or buy frozen peaches, and that, again, is gonna make it more like a milkshake. Either way, it's delicious. The kids are gonna love it. And oh boy, the aroma on that, if you could smell that, really delicious. So I'm just gonna pour the smoothie right into the glass. And there you have it. Really beautiful, really creamy, really frothy, and super rich, loaded with all kinds of phytonutrition. When we come back to the Ageless Kitchen, we're gonna do something with avocados that you normally wouldn't do. I'll see you in just a minute. Enjoy your smoothie. Hi, I'm Chef Joseph Manero with Taste This TV. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Cat's Gluten-Free Products. Now, Cat's Gluten-Free is not only gluten-free, but it's nut-free, dairy-free, and soy-free as well. So when you're looking for a healthy, alternative, gluten-free snack, Cats has got you covered. From their powdered donuts all the way to their cherry pie, chocolate muffin, choose Cats whenever you're choosing the dairy-free and gluten-free. That's enough for Taste This TV. For more information, log on to the website at the bottom of the screen and check out Cats. Welcome back to the Ageless Kitchen Chefs. Well, we're all about nut and seed creams today. And that's something that we don't normally do is grind the nuts into cream. So I think this is kind of a fun way to add some more phytonutrients and good fats that are in the nuts to baked goods and our smoothies like we just did with our orange peach hemp smoothie. All right, let's go ahead and make a nut cream now. Uh, we talked about the hemp seeds and all their benefits, but nuts across the board are showing to increase longevity, protect our heart, and keep our skin beautiful. Harvard School of Medicine did a 30-year study on nuts, and as I said, across the board, they increased longevity and protected from many different diseases. They're very high in minerals like selenium, and selenium is the number one mineral to fight cancer. All right, so I've got some macadamia nuts now. Macadamia nuts are a hidden treasure trove of phytonutrients that actually assist us in losing weight. Many people say, wow, nuts are very fat and high calorie. It's the kind of fat, as we mentioned earlier, good fat washes away the bad fat, but there's something else, there's a phytonutrient in the macadamia nut called palmitic acid. Our palmitic acid really is an appetite suppressant. It increases the way we burn fat even without exercise, and you've got to love that. As much as I love being in the gym, hey, anything that can help me burn more fat without exercise, I'm all for it. And the pine nut is in the same family of assisting us with the fat burn, particularly the belly fat. So now let's go ahead and make a cream out of our macadamia nuts and get the benefit of that palmitic acid. So I'm, again, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did here and add a little bit of water, just like we did with our hemp. And we're just gonna grind that up into a cream. Let's move all this out of the way. And then we're gonna turn it on high for just a second. Mm -hmm. 
and just grinding those macadamia nuts down. Again, any nut will do. I've done cashew cream before on the spiced apples and it was amazing. So one more time, let's just hit it with a little lower speed and really get all the nuts well ground up so that we're breaking it down for easier digestion. And that creamy texture, gotta love that. All right, so I'm gonna hit it one more time just with a little higher speed. And we're good to go. And then a little lower again to bring that creaminess about from the fats in the, in the nuts, whatever nuts you're using. All right, we've got our macadamia for a little tropical flair. And now I'm gonna put some ellogic acid in. And what the heck is ellogic acid? Well, it's found in the beautiful strawberry. I really encourage you to use the organic strawberries. These little berries are high in water content and food that's high in water content tends to absorb more of the chemicals in the soil. We don't want that. So I'm just gonna clean these up. All right, so you can see that I'm using a tomato shark and you can see the teeth on it. It's a perfect little tool for hulling the strawberries, coring tomatoes, there's lots of different things you can do and it just makes your job fast and easy. Remember, we always wanna get the right tool for the job. You don't build your dream house with a plastic screwdriver and you don't make a masterpiece in the kitchen unless you have the proper tools. So we wanna use everything that we have to our benefit. All right, so just a couple more strawberries. Now back to the ellogic acid. Strawberries are loaded with ellogic acid and as a matter of fact, one of the researchers from UCSD, they've received more grants to study phytonutrition than almost any other university. He made a comment in a radio interview that if everybody ate 37 strawberries a day, organic only again, no one would have cancer. I thought that was a pretty strong statement. What he was referring to as the ellogic acid in the strawberry. Currently, science is trying to create a strawberry with 10 times the ellogic acid, and chefs, you know how I feel about that. We need to leave nature alone. It was made a certain way, and it's perfect the way it is. I don't think we need a strawberry with 10 times the ellogic acid. Whatever our creator put in is good enough for me. All right, again, we've got them all hulled and we've got them in there. Now here's our secret ingredient today, and this is an avocado, of course. Now avocados, when I worked at the Livingston Foundation, one of the top alternative cancer clinics in the country, they used to say, I'll have a little lunch with my avocado. That's how much the researchers felt that the cancer potential here to fight cancer and other diseases is really great because the avocado contains all 18 minerals. And as we know, every illness known to man can be traced back to a mineral deficiency. Not only that, but everything that we've been talking about with the um, great fats, heart protective, helping us burn more fat and that kind of thing. All right, so get a little avocado off my hands here. And let's add some lauric acid, some coconut milk. So we've got our macadamia nut cream, which was just the nuts and water, raw nuts. We've got an avocado, small one. We've got some strawberries and we've got our coconut milk. Now the lauric acid really is showing up as great and powerful, delicious medicine. Really great skincare and we've talked about that with several of our foods. Anything we can do to kind of turn that age clock back, I think we're all for that. Not to mention arthritis. Um, heart health, I mean the, the list goes on with lauric acid and all of its great properties. It's also antimicrobial and antibacterial, very much like other ingredients that we've used that actually help the body to eliminate anything negative. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and whip this up. I'm gonna hit it on high for just a moment so everything's thoroughly blended. Yum, it's going to be delicious. Let's kick that speed down and make sure that we've got everything well blended. All right, that's it. So you're really not going to taste the avocado and I know that many people are probably thinking, oh, we're going to do you know, a smoothie with something that we consider more of a vegetable when it's really a fruit. Um, it really doesn't taste, as I said earlier, you're gonna get more of the coconut and the strawberry. And again, if you wanna use frozen strawberries, that would be a great way to give it more of a milkshake type consistency. All right, let's just get rid of this water because we don't need that. 
and we'll use our glass. We have our orange for our orange peach smoothie. Let's put this delicious, thick, rich, gorgeous coconut, strawberry, and avocado smoothie in here. And you can see that it really has a milkshake consistency. So much medicine. I'll be back with even more. We're doing Fight Bites next in the Ageless Kitchen. Hi, I'm Chef Joseph Nair with Taste Is Television. I want to talk to you about an incredible licorice product that you will be amazed with, and it's called Australian Style Licorice. Now, today I'm using their gourmet black flavor, but as you can see here, they have a variety of different flavors, starting with gourmet red, green apple, etc. What makes this licorice so special is it's soft, chewy, and tastes fabulous. Now, gourmet black is my favorite, and I'm going to pair it with a steak stir fry. So first, I'm going to take a hot pan, I'm going to dabble some olive oil in there. I'm going to add some onions, some peppers, carrots, salt, and pepper. Now, at the same time I'm cooking down these vegetables and looking to get the sugar content down, I'm adding the licorice diced up. As you can see, I have my gourmet black licorice, and immediately, when the licorice hits the flavor of the hot pan, you hear, you smell the aromas coming up. And you can smell that black licorice. Black licorice goes incredible with filet mignon, and that's what I have here. Sliced filet mignon, in which I've seared the outside, then julienned it. And we're gonna put that in that stir fry as well. Give it a couple of seconds. And at the very end of this dish, I'm going to take some balsamic vinegar and deglaze the pan. This is going to give all the flavors such incredible flavor together. You have the balsamic, the flavor of the licorice, and then we have a bed of rice here in which we're going to put our stir fry right over the top. And what I like to do is take some licorice, garnish the top with it, and now you have another incredible recipe using Australia-style licorice. Taste this. All right, welcome back, chefs. Now we're gonna make one of my favorite snacks and it's called a Fight Bite. Now there's a hundred different ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show two versions. I'm gonna show one that is a true vegan version and then one that if you enjoy honey, you're gonna use that as your sweetener. All right, so let's go with the almond coconut. This is one of my personal favorites. I've got some almond butter here and again, it's all about nuts and seeds in the Ageless Kitchen, and they are one of our best anti-aging tools. So I've got almond butter here, and I've got tahini here. Now tahini is sesame butter. So this is gonna be the base for the vegan one. And here we have the almond butter, and that's gonna be the base of our first fight bite. Almonds are one of nature's most powerful anti-aging tools perfect food from the Ageless Kitchen. All right, so a popular candy bar will come to mind with this one. We're doing the almond, coconut, and chocolate, one of my personal favorites. So we're getting the benefit of our coconut, and I've just got some finely chopped coconut or shredded. These chocolate chips are dairy-free and grain-free, sweetened naturally, and really a great, creamy, wonderful baking product, and you can find those in your health food store. I'm gonna put all those in, of course, can never have enough chocolate. And this, of course, is the semi-sweet chocolate. So we're getting the flavonoids that prevent stroke and help us with our vascular health as well. All right, a little bit of honey. And again, the difference in the two bites is that I'm going to use agave in one for the vegan who would not do honey, and then this for our regular one. I'm gonna do a little pinch of salt because that's always good in sweet things it kind of lifts up the flavor of the chocolate and the coconut and all of that working together. All right, let's move this over for a moment because that's for our other one. We've got a little bit of coconut oil here and that's gonna act as our binder and we're gonna use that in our tahini bite as well. So we're just gonna mix this all up and we're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for 20 minutes and let it kind of firm up with that coconut oil and honey and the butter will get more solid as well. 
Once it's firmed up, chefs, then we can go ahead and roll them into our little balls or our little fight bites and store them in the refrigerator. That way you, the kids, anybody that wants something quick and really nutritious that's going to add a number of phytonutrients to your already sound nutrition program. All right, so we'll pop that in the refrigerator for 20 minutes and then we'll roll those into balls. Let's go ahead with our tahini one or the truly vegan fight bite. Now sesame butter, sesames are great for knee health. Isn't that odd how the little sesame seed and its oil, essential fatty acid, would protect our knee joints and I think we all can use that. Sesame butter or tahini as it's known is used in something like hummus and uh, we're more familiar with it in that application. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of flax seed. Now the flax seeds here are next to our hemp seeds. These actually need to be ground up or broken up for us to absorb the good essential fatty acids or the omega-3. So I just blasted these in my uh, spice grinder. It's perfect and it works beautifully. So we're gonna put that in the ground flax seed as a um, binder, if you will. Now the flax seeds are a little bit higher than the chia seeds in phytoestrogen. Phytoestrogen is benign estrogen. It's estrogen that actually protects the hormone receptors. So make sure you know the difference with the type of estrogen that you're getting. And plant-based estrogen, like the flaxseed, is benign, it's protective, and it really lends itself to good health and cancer fighting. I've got some quick cooking rolled oats here. Again, kind of a binder a little more of the benefits of our antimicrobial and antibacterial coconut that we talked about earlier. And the coconut oil solidifies, so that way it's gonna help us roll it into a little ball. I've got some crushed cashews. Researchers are telling us that cashews, along with our macadamia nuts, are really a great fat fighter and help us to be fit without so much exercise, which you gotta love. All right, we're gonna do the agave, since we don't use bees when we're vegan. And then we've got some nutritional yeast. Now this has a very nutty flavor and it's different than bread yeast. So make sure you're getting the nutritional yeast. This is a vegan's best friend for vitamin B12. B12 as well as the entire bee complex really help manage the nervous system and help alleviate stress and help us manage our stress. So we can all use that, I'm sure. And again, it has a nice, mild, nutty flavor. So we're gonna add the nutritional yeast in there for our B vitamins. And then I've got some dried cranberries. I've used dried cherries before, dried blueberries, whatever you like. So that's everything for our tahini. And then again, we're gonna pop this in and let it chill in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. And that way we'll be able to roll all of these delicious phytonutrient packed ingredients into little balls that we can store in a Tupperware container or any kind of container. Take them on the go, just keep them cool because they are made of nut butter as you saw. All right, so that's it for both of our Fido Bites. I'm gonna pop these doughs, if you will, into the refrigerator so they can chill. We'll roll them into our little bites and we'll be back for a taste. Hi, I'm Chef Joe Seminera with Taste This Television. Take a look at this gear right here. Chef Revival knows how to form comfortability for chefs out there. For chefs in the kitchen, heat resistant, the look, the feel. Hey, you're working in the kitchen all day long. You want something that you're gonna be comfortable in. Well, Chef Revival has got you covered. Everything from chef hats to chef pants to chef jackets and different kinds of apparel that the chef at home can use. So for more information and to find out some more incredible products on their site, log on to Chef Revival. Right back in the Ageless Kitchen we are chefs and I welcome you back. Thank you so much for spending time today and we're looking at the power of nut and seed creams. A different way to use nuts and seeds that we all love every day. Alright so we've got our plate here that has all of our lovely fat fighting nuts and seeds that we use today. The only one we didn't use was the pine nut, and I wanted to put that out there. Oh, the pine nuts are a fat fighter just like our macadamia 
Amy, and that's when we spoke about the palmitic acid and the power of that to burn body fat, specifically belly fat, without exercise. So that's why I put the pine nuts on the uh, plate today. But we did grind our flax seed. Remember, those are the seeds that have to be ground up for us to gain benefit from them. And just pulse them through your spice grinder or your blender. All right, so we're back with our dough. We chilled our tahini with our dried fruit and sweetened it with agave. And then we did this with the almond butter and chocolate chips and some coconut and sweeten that with honey. Now the coconut oil in both really add a big boost to phytonutrition as we talked about, but as the dough, if you will, chills, uh, that coconut solidifies and really helps us roll into our cute little bites, which we're gonna do right now. So I hope that you've enjoyed learning a different way to look at nuts and seeds and a couple different tricks with how to use them. Now these little bites, you're just gonna roll into a ball and store them in your refrigerator and they're just perfect as a little snack. So there's one little bite. Now I'm gonna do tahini and you can see how it's thickened up beautifully and we're just gonna roll those into our little fight bites. And they're just a perfect way to get the kids to eat a little more healthfully with the snacking. And I think the husband in front of the TV will probably appreciate these as well. They're very hearty and they've got a lot of nutrition and ingredients that are very high in phytonutrients in them, but we don't have to divulge all our secrets, do we chefs? We'll keep that to ourselves and just let them know that it's a candy that we make in our own ageless kitchen. So we've got the almond coconut with chocolate chips, who wouldn't love that? And then we've got the tahini that's sweetened with the agave or coconut palm sugar, whatever sugar or sweetener you like. And we've got some dried fruit in here. Now, quick trivia question, chefs. Which has more phytonutrient power, more antioxidant power? Would it be fresh fruit or would it be dried fruit, just like we've used in our tahini bites? For generations, our family has perfected authentic Mexican dishes from seasoned chicken and beef to carnitas, arroz, and barbacoa. The Cardenas family has always followed the traditions of their ancestors when it comes to cooking. From the beginning, they've created authentic Mexican dishes from scratch using recipes that have been passed down and perfected over generations. This tradition of gathering around a great meal with family and friends is what they're here. Foods strives to pass on. From our family to yours. The answer would be dried fruit. And the reason is, is because we've removed all of the water, chefs, and that concentrates the phytonutrition power and the antioxidant power, which is what a phytonutrient really is. It's a pumped up, super powerful antioxidant. And what that means in general is it's preventing cellular damage, it's turning back the aging clock, strengthening the vascular system inside the heart and throughout the body, and more than anything, Thing, the great fats contained within our nut and seed creams or butters really helps to bind the nutrition or the water we drink to our tissue. Just like we did with the avocado in our strawberry coconut avocado smoothie, the good fats in the avocado, another fruit, really help to bind the water that we drink and seal the nutrition or antioxidant power to the cells to prevent that cellular damage that ages us. We've got a smoothie in an orange as well as having the orange in the smoothie. So freeze your orange segments if you'd like and that gives it a little more frothy milkshake type quality. Freeze your strawberries. The avocado, however, makes it really creamy. So you don't need ice when you're making your smoothies because that kind of just dilutes the uh, nutrient power. When I want to drink water, I'll have a glass of water. Other than that, I like my phytonutrients concentrated just like we did here today in the Ageless Kitchen with our nut and seed creams and butters. Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed your time with me in the Ageless Kitchen as much as I've enjoyed my time with you. I'm Chef Tina Martini, and I'll see you next time in the Ageless Kitchen. Here's to your health.